Hi, welcome to my channel Creative IT Hacks. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you never miss an update. Hello viewer, today we'll learn about beginner's guide to Microsoft Word. We are specially using it to create documents like reports, essays, handouts, flyers, etc. So open Microsoft Word document if you don't have it in your taskbar. So go to search bar of your Windows and write Microsoft Word and click on Microsoft Word document. Microsoft Word opens right up and it gives me too many templates and it's helped me to create a document that I want. There are different categories like business, cards, flyers, letters, education, resumes and cover letters and holiday. But in this tutorial, we are going to focus just on creating starting from scratch. And so, I'm gonna click here where it says blank document. And it's opening the Microsoft Word blank document. Now there is so much to do. I want to give you a quick tour of what you're seeing here in the layout. You'll notice that, across the top, we have tabs, we have the home tab, insert tab, draw tab, design tab, layout tab, references tab, mailings tab, review and view tab, developer tab and last help tab. This is very similar to all the Microsofts like PowerPoint, Excel and Access ETC. When you click the tabs, it will give you ribbon and that's what they call this, this is the ribbon. Now each ribbon is divided up into groups, so this is called group. When I click on different tabs the ribbons and its groups changes. Now one thing about groups that you need to be aware of is some groups will have a little launch button in the corner. So here's an example of a launch button. The paragraph group is a launch button and the page setup is also. When you click on it, it shows different setups. Like font groups launch button is very different like others. This is my word document and it's completely blank. At this time the couple of things that I want you to know about before you get started making a document. First of all I don't know about you but I want to be able to see the document and so I am gonna go down here in the lower right corner and change the zoom level and its minimum page size is 10% and maximum page size is 500%. Now in this tutorial I am using Microsoft 2019 for Windows so if you are using an old version of Microsoft and this width and height ruler is not visible to you so don't worry it's too simple. Just click on the last one in the tabs, tell me what you want to do, and this is also called search bar for Microsoft. Write ruler and click on show ruler, as you see the ruler is removed, again follow previous process and click on show ruler, so ruler visible to you. Now I am ready to start a creative document. And let's say this document is going to be a handout or a worksheet for my students. I am after writing name, just provide a space for their names, the next is subject, and also give space on its end. And I would like to write the title of this document. Select this whole sentence, change its alignment in the paragraph group. Now go to font group and do some editing like bold, italic, underline etc. I am going to increase its font size and change its font style. There is lots of font styles. You want to choose any one or two or more you like. I choose Times New Roman. From customizing fonts and colors to accessing pre-designed templates for quick document creation, Word offers endless possibilities for document design. In styles group there is lots of styles of heading you want to choose any one. When you click on it, all the previous editing will remove and you do formatting on it in the new way. Change it font size and font color also what you want. And there's so many word art to make your document a new and creative look. I tell you to increase and decrease font size with your keys. Just press Ctrl, Shift and less than for increase font size and Ctrl, Shift and greater than.
Press enters for write the text below the line. Write whatever you want. Now a few other essential things to know about Microsoft Word include how to insert pictures, because that is really one of the powerful things about Microsoft Word. And you heard me say the keyword there, didn't you? It's insert. So, I click on, insert. I'm going to go on to the pictures, and that automatically access my computer data, and now I can browse my computer to find pictures that I want. Now whenever you put a photo or an image into Microsoft Word, it brings up some difficulties, for example that is not at all where I wanted that photo to be. I wanted it to be here in between text, and so this is a problem. In this problem the photo came in way too big. Let's fix some of these issues. The first thing I am going to do is click on the picture. Now something subtle just happened when I click on the photo. One thing I want to do though is just resize this image. So, with it selected, I just go to the corner to resize it. Now you just click on the picture and going to wrap text, select behind text and here you go. It's moving much freely. You just resize it with drag and drop of the corner points. Collaborating with others is seamless, thanks to real-time editing capabilities and review tools for tracking changes and adding comments. For your editing there is an additional tab open, there is a lot of editing in corrections. With intuitive features for table formatting, image insertion, and printing options, Microsoft Word remains an indispensable tool for professionals seeking to streamline their document creation process. And in colors option, you can change its color. Artistic effect is for artist. There are also some picture styles. For example, you can put a frame around your photo, and these all sort of different frames. You can have a kind of fizzy borders around your picture. You can change its border color and too many formatting on it. You can also crop, and you will be surprised how often this is helpful and necessary. So when I clicked on crop it gave me some additional lines, edges and thing like that. There are also sort of other options, especially shapes are good. You can insert any shape in your document. I insert, arrow quad. You can edit your shape with its yellow point. You can change its shape color. Apply 3D effects. I want you to know that, you can also add a text box. Now how is the text box special? How is it different from the regular text that you are typing in? Basically a text box is additional box that can float top of your document. I am gonna go with the blue text box. This is already formatted. This text box can be dragged anywhere you want to go. You can add word art on your text. I also add a simple text box for your help.
Okay now, here in the review tab a few other basics that you need to know about whenever you are writing a paper or a report or even a worksheet like this. It's important to get the spelling right and you can see the review tab you can click spelling and grammar and it will click on the spelling mistakes it looks like it found one. I don't know how I possibly misspelled this word but I did and if it can Microsoft Word will suggest alternate. There are also some great options like word count. If you are a student and the teacher has said I want you to create a 2000 words essay or report, you just click to get a word count and word is tell you how much it is. There is also an option of word loud and all your word current document are read loud by the Microsoft Word and you heard it. You can adjust its line spacing by clicking on it. And you see the difference. You can add and remove space after and before paragraph and there is also lots of options in the dialog box. Additionally, access to pre-designed templates streamlines the process, saving you time and effort. With built-in spell check, auto-save features, and collaborative capabilities, Microsoft Word empowers you to work efficiently and effectively. Now the main part of the document is, you can edit the page margins by drag and drop of the upper ruler edges points. With its user-friendly interface, you can effortlessly craft a variety of documents, from professional letters to detailed reports and eye-catching resumes. There is, customized quick access toolbar, and you can add quick buttons on top ribbon. Now to finish this off, I just go to file and I have bunch of different options. First, I really should save this, I just save this in this PC and save it directly. Go to save as option and click on browse, choose your path to save file, write name and click on save button. Now I close this file by clicking on right top corner red cross button. Let's check our file is saved or not as we saved. And here it's as we leave. Now I tell you how to save this document as a PDF. Click on file and go to print button. Your document preview like this as we see in the right side. Whether you are editing a document solo or collaborating with a team in real time, the review tools enable seamless communication and editing. Furthermore, features like table insertion, image embedding, and printing options offer further flexibility and customization to meet your specific needs. There is the printer status. Click on it, and it shows bunch of options you choose, Microsoft print to PDF, and it give you browse option and choose your path now, write name of the document and save it. Close all the document and open your path where you saved your PDF file. Microsoft Word is a versatile tool that empowers users to create a wide range of documents effortlessly. Open it and see it appears like in a page of printer. I hope you like my today video. Thanks for watching. If you are new on my YouTube channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you never miss an update.